Okay, so for this one is going to be um, how to add VR to our scene, which is the whole reason why we've been doing this to begin with. Uh, I know it's been a little bit complicated, but unfortunately right now there's just not a simple way to do this. Um, uh, not a simple way to do this for smaller devices. Uh, that Unity for Autodesk, that works great if you have an HTC Vive, which costs about $800. So if you have $800 lying around, sure, you go use that. Uh, the one of the reasons why we're jumping, have to jump through these hoops, is we're trying to make it as free for you as possible. Um, because there's nothing worse than having to buy more stuff for class. So, what we're going to be using is Google Cardboard. It pretty much is a really nice, cheap um, VR headset that Google is providing because they really want to see VR take off, from what I understand. So, let me pull that up for a bit. Your instructor should have um, some Google Cardboard headsets for us that we can kind of use. And that's one of the reasons why we're exporting out to mobile devices. So you can kind of see the initiative that they're kind of pushing out there. Just a little simple cardboard headset. Some of them come with Velcro. They have little VR viewers that you can kind of look through. Um, you use your phone. It can be an iPhone or an Android. In our cases, it will be an iPhone. This would this will allow us to kind of view through those. Um, it is cheap and it does look cheap compared to something like Oculus Rift or HTC Vive, but at the same time it's also $15 compared to the $800 for just the HTC Vive. Let's double check that out real quick. HTC Vive. And, yep, about $800 for virtual reality headset. So just kind of be aware of that. Okay. So. Uh, the first thing that we need is um, you should be provided the Google VR headset. So in this case here, well, or not the headset, the Google VR uh, for Unity package. And this is provided straight from Google. So double click or drag it into your scene like you had before. And it's always going to kind of freak out a little bit. Same thing as before, just keep hitting import. This happens. I don't know why. Just uh, try again or cancel. If it doesn't work on try again, just hit cancel. Okay. So uh, it does two imports for some reason. So when it's done, try not to do anything right away. Give it a second. This second thing will pop up. Just go ahead and hit import. And same thing's going to happen. Just hit import again. Okay, great. So uh, we created this little guy here. Hopefully he's still there. If not, you get to watch me reconstruct it. Shouldn't take that long though. Yep, we get to reconstruct it, which is something you should probably do anyways. It doesn't take much to do it. So, uh, under, Google, under Google VR, go back, Google VR, demo scenes, headset demo. Demo scene. And yes, you do want to save what you've already done under your last scene if you have it open. So we have this demo scene. It's really trippy. Um, just to make sure it works, go ahead and hit play. Make sure there's no problems. If there are, you need to talk to somebody. Okay, so this is going to be weird. If you hold down alt, you should be able to look around. As long as that does its thing, you're fine. I'm going to turn that off. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new game object. So I'm going to go to game object, create empty. So it's just going to create this empty game object. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero it out. So under transform to the far right in the inspector, I'm going to select position X zero, position Y zero, and position Z zero. So that's zeroed out. I'm going to call this GVR and uh, prefab. GVR will get most of it done. And then I'm going to take the Google main viewer, event system, floor canvas, this canvas, even though we don't really need it. Take the cube for right now. We don't really need it. And take the camera. So we took and rug all those under GVR prefab. In my case here, I'm going to take the cube and under mesh render, I'm going to turn that off. I'm also going to remove the particle system. If I click on this gear and do remove component, that will make things quite a bit simpler for us. I'm going to turn off the collider as well. Marks, I'm going to turn it off by hitting this checkbox. Fine. 
Looks good. I'm going to leave all that the same. So just like what you did for your um, uh, your Revit file, I'm going to take GVR prefab and drag that to your assets folder. Now I have a prefab of my Google VR. So I'm pretty much done with that scene. I no longer need it. I'm going to go back to my sample red. And no, I'm not going to save because I made some changes and I don't care whether or not I need them or not. Okay, that's great. I'm back where I should be. Fine. Um, go back to assets and then drag this Google prefab back into your scene. So as soon as I kind of let go, drag it in, you can kind of see it's doing uh, some stuff there. That's fine. Uh, one of the bigger problems, however, seems to be that everything is really tiny. So if I come over here and select the scale tool, I can kind of scale everything up. Uh, one of the things that we kind of need to do is you need to make sure that that little uh, thing here at the bottom, you need to make sure that that's floating a little bit off the top. So we can make this thing as tall as we need to do, but just always make sure is the bigger you make this, and oh, real fast, always scale from the center. We don't want to stretch anything out if we don't have to. So never grab these little handles off to the edges. You always want to uh, scale from the center bo gray box here. So all I'm doing is I'm just kind of making it bigger as I go. Looks like right now the scale is about 4. So I'm going to clean that up. I'm just going to go ahead and make it 5 right now. So right now the biggest problem is we can't move. We are stuck here. Cool. We can look around. Uh, that's cool and everything. And we can look around. But that's really about it. Uh, before we move on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, chunk that. Yes, continue. And apply. So, I just deleted that FPS thing. Uh, you don't really need it. I do suggest you do that. Or not take it with you uh, if you have to rebuild. Um, so, what we did add in for you is a nifty teleporter for you. So under add-ons teleporting, we can um, effectively take this prefab here for teleport, drag that in. Uh, I'm going to take this and I'm going to move this under main camera, GVR reticle, Google VR reticle. And then we're going to make sure a couple things work. So I need to make sure our parent, which is our GVR prefab, is our parent. And we're going to take a couple other things, make sure that that's set up the way it should be. Yeah, looks like everything's uh, been moved over accordingly. So what we need to do now is just turn off mouse, no jump, and view height. Uh, what that does is those are just debugging tools that we're using to make sure that under certain conditions that this thing is supposed to work the way it's supposed to work. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to hit play, and with a little of luck, we should be able to teleport around the kitchen. So, sure enough, I got a teleporter. Pop. Little too far down. Don't know what caused that, so I'm going to kind of jump out of that real quick. Real quick. And, oh, uh, that's what it was. You need to remember to zero things out. I have this problem, everyone has this problem, but zeroing things out is the most important piece. So for some reason you can see where all the equipment that we need is all the way out there. It should pretty much match the location of the camera. So I'm going to come over here to transform position for that uh, teleport prefab, hit zero, zero, and zero. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing for the locator just to be safe. And I'm going to do uh, zero, zero, zero. So we should be pretty much good now. Instead of teleporting into the floor, everything should work perfectly. And then sure enough, so now we can kind of make it around the floors and the stairs. And uh, it is a bit cumbersome, but at the same time, we kind of have to uh, just kind of make sure we're going to the right spots. Now for right now, we're having some small issues with getting that little viewer to work the way it, where it belongs. But um, uh, the best part about it is as long as that dotted line is pointing towards the little white dot, you should be able to go pretty much wherever you want to. And that's pretty much it. That's teleport. There you guys go.